Things that rotate, whether a habitat in space or an athlete doing a somersault, remain in rotation until something interrupts their motion. A rotating object has an inertia of rotation. This is akin to moving things having an inertia of motion, which we've called momentum. The momentum we've discussed so far has been linear momentum. Now we discuss angular momentum. We see Phil Physiker whirling a tin can in an overhead circle. The can has momentum, its mass multiplied by its speed. Looking further, we see the can also has angular momentum. In the simplest sense, we define angular momentum as the linear momentum multiplied by a radial distance. That's angular momentum equals the product of mass times speed times radial distance. If we multiply the mass of the can by its speed and multiply this by its radial distance, that's its distance to the center of its circular path, we'll have the can's angular momentum. And just as a net force is needed to change linear momentum, a net torque is needed to change the angular momentum of an object. Phil Physiker says it well. An object or system of objects will maintain its angular momentum unless acted upon by an external net torque. A satellite orbiting a planet normally has no external torques acting on it and has a constant angular momentum. Multiply the mass of a satellite by its speed and the distance to the planet's center and you'll know how much angular momentum it has. That angular momentum will persist until some external torque acts on it. If no torque, then it will continue in its motion indefinitely. Likewise with the planets that orbit the Sun and those orbiting other stars beyond the Sun. Angular momentum is a fact of everyday life for astronomers. Angular momentum and a related concept, rotational inertia, is nicely demonstrated in physics classes when the instructor stands on a rotating turntable. Let's see this by dropping in on one of my conceptual physics classes. I've got down here a rotating platform. You see this platform, gang? It's a very low friction rotating platform. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stand on that platform, I'm gonna hold these weights out. When I hold these weights out like this, I'm gonna spin like this. When I hold them out far, do I have a lot of rotation inertia or a little? How about when I pull them in? A little? So if I get here rotating like this, and I hold them out, what happens when I pull them in? Ooh, easier to rotate, gang. Harder to rotate, easier to rotate. Woo! Woo! Okay, you see such thing? All right, all right. You go to the, ooh, a little kiss it is here. You go to the ice ballies, you see the skaters turning around like that, they're spinning, 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 and when they're spinning, they pull in like this, yeah? Go fast, 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 and then they come on. Da, 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 da. People think they're going like that for applause. You know what they're doing? They're trying to save them from breaking their necks. You r increase your rotation. Ro Isn't that neat? Okay? So we can really see. Ro you can try this after class. You can you gotta try, it, try, try it to really appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what we, there's another concept here, gang. It's called angular momentum. Remember before we talked about linear momentum? Okay? There's a counterpart here. Back to our screencast. So just as linear momentum is conserved in the absence of a net impulse or net force, we see that angular momentum is conserved if no net torque acts. We call this the conservation of angular momentum. Phil Visiker states the conservation of angular momentum. If no external net torque acts on a rotating system, the angular momentum of that system remains constant. Angular momentum conservation is nicely employed by figure skaters and gymnasts, especially when spinning and executing other maneuvers. I want to leave you with a question. Suppose you're at an amusement park and you sit in the middle of a large rotating turntable that is set spinning and then allowed to spin freely. When you crawl toward the edge of the turntable, does its rotational rate increase? 
decrease, or remain unchanged? What physics principle supports your answer? Until next time, good rotation. <laughs>